A great wave pours over the harbour wall at Lynmouth in Devon today, a storm whipping up the high tide along much of the coast of southwest England, a reminder of the power of the weather in an extraordinary year. Remember how it all began, month after month of drought, the soil parched, farmers desperate, and the usually dry months of summer approaching. But then came this, a barrage of storms, flooding homes and disrupting transport. Yes! With new records set for rainfall, the most rapid transformation from drought to flood in modern times. The difference this year has been the magnitude in the contrast between the end of the drought and the sustained nature of the flooding and the fact that that flooding occurred during the summer. Scientists have been studying this amazing switch from drought to flood. Parts of England saw the lowest rainfall over an 18-month period for 100 years. Then came the wettest summer for England and Wales since 1766. It's been the most extreme change in rainfall since 1830 and hard to handle. The extremes are becoming more like the norm. Uh, certainly the last few years, with you know, there used to be a season for flooding between sort of October and January, February, but now it's just any time in the year. A gentle stream near Banbury in Oxfordshire. Hard to believe it could ever cause trouble, but because it keeps flooding, this new defence scheme is being opened tomorrow. Extreme weather is all about the unexpected. So if there's a flood here or anywhere else, how high could the waters rise? That's the real challenge, because for most of the time in Britain, our weather is pretty easy to cope with. You only need to invest in massive, expensive insulations like this to cope with extremes. So scientists are trying to find out if we're getting more of those extremes and what it could mean for us. This is how the summer will be remembered for the days of endless rain, falling on land dried out by the drought before it. The question is how soon it'll be before we'll see another year with such weird and damaging weather. David Shukman, BBC News.